Who here has not touched a phone today? A little bit more than I expected. Three years ago, my mom and I had the phone argument. I wanted badly to have a phone. And so I told her that having a phone will A, help me keep in contact with her and my friends, and B, in case of any emergency, I could call for help. Then my need of safety and communication will hopefully be met. But her argument was that having a phone will A, help strangers have easier contact with me by calling social media and even try to physically hurt me to get my phone, and B, it'll increase my screen time, which will lead to disengagement of my surroundings. That way, her need of safety and communication will be violated. Fast forward to mid-2017. My mom got me a phone. I asked her what changed her mind. She said that since we moved to Riyadh, she had to recalculate and came to a new decision, so she got me a phone. See, she, she saved my number on her phone as happiness of my life, because I was the happiness in her life. And Vera in Arabic means happiness. The first thing I did with my new phone was call my friends back in the US. They asked me, are you happy over there in Riyadh? All of that got me thinking, what is happiness anyway? Where does happiness come from and how do we get it? I asked my mom, tried to search about it, and tried to read, write, and reflect about it. The best definition I found, in my opinion, says that happiness is the joy we feel when we're aware that we're becoming our best self. So happiness is feeling joy. It comes when we like ourselves, when we think happy thoughts about ourselves in our head. If this is true, then happiness is easy. But it works for a second, and then it doesn't, because you really must like your actions to think happy thoughts in your head and be happy. And I found out that if my actions are aligned with my beliefs, values, and needs, then I will feel the joy of happiness. But quickly, I came across a situation. My friends did something I didn't like and they were interacting with one of our teachers in a disrespectful manner. And they ran to hide from the teacher. And I found myself running with them. I felt bad. The bad thoughts in my, about myself in my head was far from happiness. And so I asked my mom, tried to search about it, and tried to read, write, and reflect about it. In conclusion, I found out that happiness is complicated and how yes i do have a need of respect order and fairness but i also have a need to belong and be accepted and so the choices were to run with them and laugh about it or to stand up be different and risk being punished for an action that i didn't even do and when parents or teachers share their values with us, it's usually called parenting or learning. But when a friend shares their values with us, it's called influence. And what I was under was, is called peer pressure. But in the end of the day, we all decide what are our values, what are our actions, and what are our thoughts. And so the path to happiness need wisdom to help me act in a way that protect my values and needs. And I can think of three ways to boost my wisdom that so far have worked for me. One, talk to someone you trust. Use their experience to learn from more situations. And B, to read other people's experience. Search how, what, and why to learn for the future. And three, write a journal or diary to keep on what's happening in your days. And really reflect and acknowledge your thinking. So as it turns out, I knew the secret to happiness all along. And so I'm here to share it with you and invite you to be happy with me. So let us be happy together.